Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today we will understand the logical connectors and the first logical connector that we will do in this video is the conjunction operator. So let us understand the symbols and the meaning of the logical connector conjunction. So conjunction means that whenever we have two statements, propositions or statements P and Q, then conjunction of P and Q denotes P, this is the opposite of victory symbol, so this means conjunction. So P conjunction Q is the meaning of P and Q. So that means the conjunction operator is denoted by opposite of victory symbol and the meaning, English meaning of conjunction is and. So you are joining the two propositions with the help of the and operator, right? So let us take an example. So if I have the statement or the proposition P as today is Friday and the second proposition is it is raining today. And how will you connect it with the help of the conjunction operator? P and Q will become today is Friday and it is raining. So we will join the two propositions with the help of the AND operator. Right? So next, let us understand the truth table for the conjunction operator. Now the truth table for the conjunction operator is that what are your inputs? To get P and Q, the input is the proposition P and the proposition Q. And what is your output? The output is P and Q. Now, what are the inputs of P and Q? Either both the statements are true or one of the statement is true and the other one is false or both the statements are false, right? So, what is the result? What is the output of P and Q? When both the statements are true, then the resultant is always true because you are taking both of them. So, it is always true. If one of them is true and false, it will always give you a false result. And when both are false, that will also give you a false result, right? So conjunction P and Q is always true when both P and Q are true and is false otherwise, right? So let us understand this table with the help of the example that we quoted in the previous slide. And let us understand how we are getting this true, false, false and false. So... The example was today is Friday and it is raining today and the argument is today is Friday and it is raining. So that means our argument says that yeah today is Friday and it is also raining. We have to support both the arguments. So the first case is case number one. When we take both the statements to be true. So P is also true and Q is also true. Right. So if P is true and Q is true, that means today is Friday and it is also raining today. So your P and Q will always be true because we need both the things. So this has to be true, right? Case number two, let us take that P is a true statement, but Q is a false statement, right? That means it is today is Friday. It is not raining today. It is a false statement. So when I take the argument that it is Friday and it is raining, obviously I'm going to get a false answer because it is not raining because my statement Q is false, right? Case number three is when I take the statement P to be false and Q to be true, right? So when I take this case, P and Q will become what? Now P is false means today is not Friday. And Q means it is raining today because it is a true statement. So the resultant argument will give me that today is not Friday and it is raining. But what is my argument that today is Friday, right? So again, it will give you, give you a false result. And similarly, case 4 is that when we take P as a false statement and Q also as a false statement, right? So when both P and Q are false, that today is not Friday and it is also not raining today. So what is your resultant P and Q? It will say that today is not Friday and it is not raining today. So that is not my argument. So that will also give you a false argument. Right? So that is why in the previous slide, the truth values were true, false, false and false. So conjunction operator will only give you a true answer when both the statements are true. Otherwise, it will always give you a false So let us take this example. If I ask you that take 
proposition is CS160 teaches logic and B proposition is CS160 teaches Java. And you need to tell me what is the conjunction of A and B. So what would be your answer? You will say that CS160 teaches logic and Java. Right? So we need to connect these two statements with the help of the AND operator. Right? So I hope you understood the conjunction operator, the first one. So do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video and do share it with others also and follow the next video to get to know and to understand the disjunction operator. Right? So thank you so much and have a nice day.